Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nosan DKD, and I am one of the reference librarians here at TTU. Uh, this is a short uh, tutorial for library related information. Uh, this one is particularly dedicated to our local student who can come to the library and use resources. And we have another video uh, particularly dedicated to our online and remote student. You can check this out as uh, our on our library web page as well. So today we are going to talk about library related resources, how you can have access to it, and also uh, other programs and services that library offer for your study here. I am going to share a screen with you. And uh, the first uh, place that you can start your research here uh, through GTU library is to go visit our library homepage. Um, you can go to gtu.edu and you can click on library and it will take you to our library homepage. And you can uh, contact our librarians here uh, through uh, use through phone, uh, through email, email our email address is library at gtu.edu. And also you can uh, live chat to us. Uh, we are available uh, from nine to four, uh, from Monday to Friday. So our librarians will respond to you when you are, uh, are online and, uh, and need to, uh, uh, answer right away. So here uh, in this website, uh, we, we will talk about how to access to our resources. Uh, uh, G2 Library use a catalog called Summon. As this is a library version of Google, it will search everything that is available through GTU. Uh, articles, print book, eBooks, uh, databases, and more. Uh, here on, on our homepage, the first thing you will see is here in search uh, someone catalog as well. Here, for example, let's search St. Jerome. He is a library patron saint. So here, when you type in the St. Jerome, uh, on your right, they will have a, a short uh, entry uh, from our uh, Encyclopedia of Religion about St. Jerome. And the middle, uh, you will see the search result. Uh, it will contain print book, ebook, journal articles, and more. On your left, you can do limit uh, on your research. Sometimes you're just looking for um, uh, full text online, sometimes you're just looking for print uh, print books, and sometimes you're just looking for articles. So you can um, do your uh, limit search as well. In the middle uh, here, you will see all these uh, items listed. So let's uh, just look at our eBooks collection for St. Jerome. Here, when I click on it, 218 results. Uh, ebooks and you can click on it and it will take you to the database and then you will use your pin to access to that. And here, another one is if you are looking for just uh, physical print books, you can also search uh, with that category as well. And you can also search in terms of language uh, as you're looking for uh, uh, resources in uh, Spanish, you can also click and then they will have resources uh, according to the uh, search limit that you made. And also for our uh, print resources, uh, you can, when you click here, uh, you will see where these books are and if this is available. Uh, so this book is located in GTU main um, uh, library and this is a call number. I, uh, this is uh, 
if this is call number you use to look for the book in the stacks and also on your right is the status. Sometime it is available, this book is available now, but for some books, somebody already checked out and it will say uh, due date here as well. And uh, for those books that you can also uh, recall those book and then and, and the, uh, the person who check out that books uh, uh, need to return in two weeks uh, as well. Uh, in this semester, uh, for checking out books, you can uh, keep the book for three months and you can check out up to 99 books uh, for three months and you, you can renew five times. Uh, uh, in this semester, we are doing a major alteration in the library building and uh, our st our students and faculty, patron will not have access to the stacks, but you can always um, request a book uh, for our staff to retrieve, retrieve that book from the uh, stacks as well. So you can here, if you request that book, you can just click on it and then it will just ask you to your uh, ID and your PIN number. So uh, usually the next day that the book is available for you to pick up at the uh, uh, circulation desk as well. So he, and here, we will uh, now uh, look at uh, our databases uh, where you can find ebooks and journal articles. So on our library homepage, uh, you can go to search electronic resources. Here is a list of uh, databases from A to Z uh, fashion. And if you know the title of the journal, you can just uh, go straight to here. For example, here, if you click in this tab and then you can look for the title of the journal and click here and then you can search. And then here it will, it will give you a link to four different databases that we have this journal. So depending on um, the issue that you need, you will uh, choose the, the best uh, uh, database. Here, uh, the first one, EBSCO database is the most comprehensive one for this journal. So when you click here, it will take you to uh, the journal. From, it start from uh, uh, 1947. And then here, as you can see, we have three uh, uh, feature databases that ATLA, ATL is one of the most comprehensive uh, theological and biblical uh, collection. And the second one, ProQuest, if you are writing dissertation or thesis, uh, this might be a good place for you to check out. Um, and then uh, you will not only have access to the GTU and uh, GTU related dissertation, but also dissertation and thesis in North America. So you have full text access to it. And the right one is JSTOR. Uh, if you're working on interdisciplinary area, this is a good database for you to find because it is a, a database mainly related to humanity and literature here, collection of it. So here, if you could uh, look at those databases, uh, if you're just looking for eBooks, uh, you can go to particular eBooks and we have specialized database as well, like especially if you're uh, doing on the, uh, the ancient literature, lower classical library, uh, you will have the classical uh, library full text there. And also if you are uh, working on the Bible studies, biblical study, he offers biblical databases, very good uh, entry to your research as well. And here we, uh, uh, let's see one particular journal to look at. So when we click to this, click to this uh, ATLE journal, uh, it normally will require you to uh, uh, to enter your PIN number here as well. So you can uh, 
search here using your keywords or uh, author. And, and also here, uh, you can also search the whole publication for the particular issue as well here. Let's go to publication. And then if you are looking for interpretation journal, uh, you can uh, click here and if you click here and uh, it will have a list of journal from the beginning of the issue. So volume one, issue one. And here you will have um, uh, the issue, the first issue, and also in PDF format. So you can uh, print it and you can save it and you can and, uh, and save it in your computer or something like that as well as you need. And another very helpful feature for biblical uh, student is uh, scripture search. So when you're going, you are walking on Genesis chapter one, uh, you know, verses uh, one, here, you will have a list of article related to uh, this particular text. So here, and then you can always um, uh, limit to just scholarly research paper. And also, you can also limit the date uh, of publication here as well. And for this, uh, in this uh, EBSCO, uh, not only script, uh, Christian scripture, you can also search uh, others as well. Here, when you go to more, uh, you can click on index. And then when you click on this drop down, you will have Babylonian Talmud, you will have a Book of Mormon, and you will have a Quran citation. Let's try one example, Babylonian Talmud. You can browse this, and if you're looking for particular text, you can select, or you can type it in, text that you need, and then you can add to it, and then you can search. So here are four articles related to the text that uh, I just selected. So that's uh, for uh, search uh, for other uh, sacred texts as well. And you can also choose more database as you need here. Uh, this ATLA religion database is like a default one for. So here, and another one is that we, uh, you can always uh, look for the eBooks in a different uh, database here. For example, let's go, ProQuest is one of our largest um, uh, Projects Muse. It's one of the our largest uh, e collection. So you can click on that, and then you can uh, search for ebooks and the journal here as well. Okay, so. The next one that I would like to show you is about our uh, workshops. Here in our library homepage, uh, if you click on workshops, uh, you will see the dates and type of workshop that we offer throughout the semester. And you will have um, um, the biblical exegesis workshop, uh, Grammarly, uh, that's uh, come with your Moodle class and also uh, Zotero a workshop, especially this Zotero is very popular among our students. Uh, Zotero is a uh, uh, learning management, uh, this uh, citation management system that you can freely download uh, from the web to your computer and it will help you cite uh, your paper. So uh, to demonstrate uh, real quickly, uh, let me show you uh, what it look like. Yeah. When you use, uh, after you download Zotero from uh, website, you will have a standalone Zotero page like this. Uh, 
and then you can um, save documents from library card catalog. Uh, the citation will be saved here. And then um, you will be able to cite for your paper here. And here, uh, after I download, downloaded uh, Zotero, oh, and then I also saved some um, citation from library homepage, uh, library catalog, I can, I can now cite. So when you click Zotero, uh, you, you will have a Cherubian is a, a standard citation. So you ask what form you want, I would like Zotero. Uh, Turabian. So, so I will look one of the books here. Here, you will have a citation here because I saved that thing, uh, um, uh, citation information from the another one. Let's try another one. Hmm. Another one. So here I, I cited three tags and at the end you can even do bibliography. Yeah. This Zotero will create a bibliography for you. It will save time and efforts, uh, and then you can give your uh, your energy and time more to your study uh, if you with this the um, terror. So that's what we do uh, for uh, during the, our workshop uh, session uh, that we talk about the tarot and and then also we have other workshop like. Uh, biblical exegesis will we'll go through how you can uh, do research using um, uh, our library resources and our databases and also uh, 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 the tools that are available uh, online as well. And another one that I would like to mention is that to uh, you, as a GTU student, you can have a borrowing card from uh, UC Berkeley as well. So uh, when you have your library or uh, GTU ID, uh, it's usually created for you after you register, uh, you register for your class. Uh, your registrar will send your information to the uh, our digital learning department and they'll create the ID for you. You can stop by at the library and to get it. And you can take this ID to, to UC Berkeley Library and present there at the privilege desk. And then you can get a borrowing card as well. You can study there and also you can have access to uh, yeah, online resources if you're in person there. But one of the things, uh, the limitation is that we don't have remote access uh, through G, uh, to UC Berkeley Library. Yeah, and other resources that I would like to briefly mention is that uh, you can request CAN uh, library material. Uh, some of the books that um, that library only have, and some of the articles or some of the journal. Uh, if you are away from library, you cannot have. You can request it. Uh, only some portion of maybe a chapter or an article, something like that. You can always request here, and also you can. Uh, do interlibrary loan. Uh, that's mean that uh, if there are book or, or article that we we don't have, you can request it. And for uh, article, you you can usually uh, get that uh, through your email. And when you request this uh, print book from other library, it will take a couple of weeks, and then you can keep it for a month. Uh, so you can request here as well. And also, you can also suggest a purchase if you think uh, uh, some item the library should have, and you can click, uh, you can just go here and then request that. And our librarian will buy it, and you will be the first person to be able to use that book as well. And you can renew book online uh, as well.
So um, also after the uh, F, you finish your program and you can also have access as to uh, our uh, library card as alumni card is discounted. And uh, also you have access to ATLA database. Just um, you can uh, go to this uh, alumni resources page and then you can request as well. Um, so um, there will be a lot, but all of the, the, the stuff that I talk about and more will be listed here in the guide and tutorial. And here you will have library related information and also short video tutorial for Zotero and biblical exegesis and everything here. And also if you start out one particular subject, you can uh, start out here and you're studying in the Christian spirituality, you can go there and then uh, you will, uh, it is a good starting point for you, these guides are. Uh, so uh, you can always chat us uh, live from nine to four, uh, Monday to Friday, and email us and make appointment if you uh, need uh, uh, particular help um, looking up stuff. Uh, and search strategy, and you can make appointment uh, through Zoom and in person as well. Uh, uh, it is a pleasure to have you, and thank you so much for following uh, this presentation, and uh, I wish you success in your uh, academic year.